I'm here with Dr. Shauna Tonkin, Director of Education. Shauna, tell us a little bit about what's going on here at the center. Well, today we're celebrating the last day of the aviation adventure, which is a three-day, two-night adventure that incorporates Chinese kids from the mainland China with kids from the local area. And we're learning about all things aviation through activities and teamwork. You can see them flying in the flight lab. We have kids out in our Hangar 79 doing robotics. And we've separated this program into three eras to feature Hawaii and the history of Hawaii as it relates to aviation. What are some of the other things going on? We started the program the first day highlighting the early years of aviation in Hawaii. We took a tour of Fort Island and we introduced the kids to an ancient Hawaiian chief and a plantation worker so that the children could understand the context of Hawaii being out in the middle of the ocean and how aviation has really transformed us. The second day we heard about the attack on Pearl Harbor while the kids visited the Arizona Memorial. And then yesterday they spent time in our Hangar 79 doing a variety of hands-on activities using semaphore flags, uh, creating a weather chart, and then also taking a prop off of a C-47 ancient aircraft. Today they are learning about rockets and 50s to the future is our theme, so we're talking about the future of aviation. We don't know what that will look like, but we believe the future is bright. What is the main purpose of getting children involved in this program? We like to use our museum as a context to open up opportunities and help kids to dream bigger. Personally, I think kids just don't have a chance to use their imagination. And so while we teach about aviation and aerospace, it's not our goal to make everybody a pilot, but it is our goal for kids to understand that the world is big, there are many opportunities, and that they have that opportunity to reach out and grab it. And so our programs, again, use our museum, use our collection to introduce these ideas to kids hoping that there'll be at least one activity that they'll go away and just think about and, and maybe use in the future to encourage them to dream bigger, to imagine new things, and to look forward to the future with hope. Great. So if a child wants to get involved in your program, how can they do that? Our programs like this are typically held in the summer and we're finishing our summer season, but we've got things going on all year round for kids in kindergarten through 12th grade and then adults too. So I would say check our website. We've got some exciting programs going on this fall. And then of course, when uh, the new year comes around, we'll be planning our summer season of programs once again. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to work here at this museum? Sure. I've been in education all of my career. Uh, I spent quite a few years as a teacher in higher education and an administrator. I moved to Hawaii in 2009 and uh, really was looking for a change. I love the idea of putting programs together that will inspire people and help them to dream. And so when this opportunity came up to work with Pacific Aviation Museum Pearl Harbor, I jumped at it. it we've got so many assets uh, that we're just beginning to use to bring these ideas to life. Have you learned a lot about aviation and history through this program? My husband's a retired naval uh, aviator. He actually served in the Marine Corps. Uh, and so I've always been interested in aviation, but not to the level that I've, I've developed here. The history that comes alive in our sacred space, we don't have that any place else in the world. And so preserving that and sharing those stories and encouraging new generations to tell those stories is an important part. And of course, I love all of these planes and I love the ideas uh, and the innovation that went into bringing aviation to Hawaii and then to the Pacific. Lastly, is there anything new that you're working on that you want to tell us about? There's always something new that I'm working on. In September, we're going to have the author of Under the Blood Red Sun, which is a popular young adult fiction book. And it will be the 20th anniversary printing of that book. So Graham Salisbury will be with us on Under the Blood Red Sunday, September 14th. Also, uh, the T-Shirt Theater from Farrington High School will be putting on a performance in November to honor our veterans, a documentary a play, and that's called With Their Voices Raised. We have much more coming up, so don't go anywhere.